leader at the end of the first set. Yeah, he got messed up over there uh, off a of turn two when uh, somebody blotted up in front of him. He had to really uh, take evasive action. Cost him a bunch of spots. The car that was coming at the time of the flag, Jimmy Oh, 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 oh there trouble, it is. Hard trouble, guys. Man, Kane and Martin. And here they are, all cut. This, this is the big one we have in the all -star. Stewart had it missed, and Jeremy Mayfield came across track into it. He didn't get, kept quite a bit of damage, but here's the guys that made it through right here. The 48 car, Jimmy Johnson being one of them. Does he live a charmed life? He had just made the pass to the inside when Kane and Mark Martin up front got together and into the outside wall. His teammate didn't come out too badly either. Uh, Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin's car is destroyed. Tony's got quite a bit of damage. Left front, especially. Left front and rear, he got a lot of, he got hit from behind. And right behind him, Greg Biffle, a 16 car, could see a lot of damage on his right front. There's Kyle Busch, we just talked about him. Both ends of that race car. You know, back in my day, those inverts on the features usually uh, resulted in similar results. Jamie McMurray, the 26 car, involved in that early crash coming off turn four. He had stayed on the lead lap, and look at this Look car at Jeremy now. Mayfield's car. How does McMurray even see where to go? Bad foot up one thing. Casey Kane just gets loose. He gets uh, pushing up here off of turn two, and he gets into Mark. And uh, you see him, he gets loose right there, and here he comes into Mark, and they both go in the wall, and nowhere for Mark to go. And they start stacking up behind him. You see Biffle and Kyle Busch getting together. There you see McMurray uh, in Mayfield. Tony had it missed and got tagged. Yeah, he got hit from behind by Jeremy, Jeremy. Mayfield. And he got hit really hard. See, you watching this right here reminds me of the wreck you had with Dale Earnhardt in 95. Kind of yeah. got pinched up the outside wall, and you know how hard that impact is. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Uh, and we, we didn't have safer barriers in. That helps a little bit, but still, it's a hard hit for a bunch of those guys. Did you see how close Matt Kenseth and Jeff Gordon almost Just got into that? wiggled through. Here's Matt. Mike Casey's going to take the car to the garage. They have a hole in the radiator. The water was already up to 250. Yes, I'm going to take exactly what he said. Basically, that was simply the car was in the racetrack, and then it wasn't. I had absolutely no grip, and away it went. Well, like we talked about it all night. I mean, from the get-go, these restarts were going to be treacherous. That makes all my ribs hurt. When that happens with the front row, this is the result. See Greg Biffle down there, Larry, he's sliding through that, and then we got hit, I don't know how much. Got a lot of damage on the right front. Three of the Roush cars involved. And two of the Abraham cars. There you see the damage on Greg Biffle, the 16 car. And be for the